Okay, people, so we have some Harbor Freight solar panels here. Finally, I'm using them. I bought them like six years ago and I just had them stored, but now I'm using them and I'm using them for this little water pump that I bought. So then I bought that water pump to be able to give water to the beam. You see, the water travels through the PVC pump right here. You see? And at the end over there, I have a hose connected to it and it goes to the top. See the green hose? And you'll see right there, once I connect, the wires you see a lot of water coming off and I'll lift up the water pump for you can see it that is working right now it's not working look you don't hear nothing but I'm gonna connect it the thing is right now it's like overcast it's like the sun is trying to come out but I have a cloud up there so it's like there's not much sun right now so right now it's not really going to work if i connect it but let's try and see if it does a little noise Let me connect it. eventually i'm going to put a kill switch on this okay it's connected right now install a kill switch that way I don't have to be connecting and unconnecting it let's see it's like making little noises but it's like it's not enough juice going through it right now yeah because like the sun the sun needs to come out and you need if you're not going to connect this with a battery you need to get yourself a converter let me show you See, this converts 12 volts going in right I mean you got high voltage going in up here look you got 24 volts going in and it's 12 volts feeding this because this this runs on 12 volts you see? okay we have something else too I have this little solar panel here. This is a foldable solar panel. This fits in your book bag. This is called Power Film 10 Watts Foldable Solar Panel. This can easily charge your cell phone battery banks too. When I got it through Amazon, it was on sale for $60 look it up now it's almost two hundred dollars yep so i have it connected with this wire here yeah, i believe this is 10 gauge wire i believe so no my mistake i think it's 12 gauge wire and then i'm charging this battery bank here you see 70, 72%. So we'll see how long it takes for it to charge. Okay. I'm going to cut the video for a second now and wait till the thing comes out. I'll see you in a minute. Now, you can see up there, there's the sun. Now it should be working now. So now you see water you see look at all the water dripping over there so there you go people i got that water pump running with solar power and i don't need it to run like all day long i just when i come from work 
I just connect that maybe for a few seconds, maybe 20 seconds or so. And it empties out that bucket. And then I disconnect it. That's all. Good. Yeah. So, you see the bucket is getting empty out pretty fast too. Yeah, so that's all you need, a 100 watt solar panel. These could work individually, 25, 25, 25, 25, but 100 watts works just fine. And like I said again, you need a converter, people. If you don't put this converter and you try to connect it directly without this converter, it's not going to work. The, the water pump won't come on. That's it. I'm gonna it now. That's it. Not working anymore. Okay. Okay, people. So let's check how the charging is doing on the battery bank. So it's been about two hours, give or take, and she's at. 76 it looks like it's jumping but in real life it's not it's not jumping it's because the cell phone makes it look that way so it was at 72 now it's at 76 two hours ago it takes a little bit longer charging with the sun because remember you know the sun the clouds you know you see the sun is being covered by the clouds right now and it's an overcast day you know too many clouds it looks like it wants to rain it don't rain you know stuff like that you see you don't even see the sun shining here but it's still working these these uh power film or something else people they're really good yeah, i had this for a while now maybe maybe a good six years now these things, I'm not gonna say they're un, undestructible, but they're tough. Like if one of these, there's a little hole, a puncher here or here, the whole system will still work because this work par parallel. They work, these cells, they work separate versus these here work in series and this one, so if you, actually damage this part right here the square the whole thing is no good no more so that's why these are more expensive because you know they they're more tough they work individual and a lot of people in the military they use these because when you're in the military and and you know you got to you got to charge batteries, you know, to run the drones and all of this stuff, communication systems. So, you know, if you're, you're having a, um, you know, it's a war and the bullets are going all, all everywhere around and let's say bullets in the air fall down and hit this, this will still work. So that's why people in the military use the, this, these, uh, these uh, power film solar panels. I mean, you see there's not... They're not your neutral solar panel. You could bend them, you see. I mean, not, don't try to bend them that much, but they're pretty tough. They, they could take, you know. They could take a little beating. Yeah, I like them. Yeah. So this is power film. These were Harbor Freights. Like I said, I got them six years ago. And this one... I believe I got it seven years ago. Yeah, I bought this off of eBay. This is 150 watts, 100 watts, 10 watts. Yeah, people. And I had to cut the grass too. It was a little bit too too uh, high. Looks nice now. It's better. Yeah, my bees over there. They're doing fine. Let me show you. That's it. Yeah. So everything is just great. 
Okay, people, I hope you enjoy. Have a great day.